Hi, everyone. We are here today with Jeff and Annie from Custom Fit Concierge, and they are going to be doing a VO2 max test on our lovely medical assistant, Angela. Hi, friends. Angela here. Come along with me on my VO2 max testing journey. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeff from Custom Fit, and today we're going to be performing a VO2 max test on the treadmill with Angela. Uh, the VO2 max test that we're doing today, um, we utilize a system called the Cardio Coach, which is this uh, device over here underneath me. Um, we're going to get Angela fit with this beautiful blue mask today, um, where we get it securely fastened to her face. Then this device is going to measure the oxygen that she consumes during exercise and the CO2 that's output. Um, as she starts to walk on the treadmill. This test provides us with really awesome information that allows us to understand a little bit more about how fit you are and how to maybe go about cardiovascular training in the future. So a little bit more about what the VO2 max test is or what to expect coming into the test. Um, each person going through the test, um, we go through about a 15 minute protocol of exercise that starts with a very slow walk. Uh, where the system's gauging your oxygen consumption during lower level exercise. And then we slowly increase the exertion. So you start at a very slow walk, move up to a power walk, and then we go through five to 10 uh, one minute intervals where we slowly increase the incline on the treadmill, where you end up doing a power walk uphill. For those of you who are higher level fitness that run regularly or, or do higher level cardio, then you end up jogging uphill on the treadmill, but no longer than a period of two to three minutes at the end, getting you to the point where you're pretty much fully exhausted or is pushing yourself as hard as you feel comfortable during the test, and then the test ends. Just finished the VO2 max test on the treadmill with Angela this morning. Angela, how did it go? Great. It yeah. was easy, like seamless, super, super easy. I love the thumbs up, thumbs down thing. Amazing. Very nice. Here's a quick peek at my stats. Jeff went through my results and made it very easy to understand. One interesting thing I learned is that most people's fat burning heart rate zone is much lower than they think. Mine was at 106 beats per minute, which means that my brisk walk at lunch is actually more effective for fat burning than a high intensity workout. Overall, it was super fast and easy, and I love that I can use these metrics to see how my VO2 max will change over time. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful or interesting, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you're ready to learn more about your own fitness, reach out to us at EncoreConciergeMed.com.